Yo, you're watching this screaming fish here, people, and today I'm back with another movie review. Movie review, and yes, I said in my Q and A that it might, I might be reviewing Star Trek Beyond next, and turns out it, I was right. And yeah, basically, I'm reviewing Star Trek Beyond. So, without further ado, let's get into it. But before I do get into it, I just want to say a few words. Admittedly, I have not watched Star Trek the original series. I saw some episodes of Star Trek and Enterprise though, but unfortunately I wasn't a big I wasn't really a fan of it. However, I have seen all the Star Trek movies and I like some of them. And by that I mean Star Trek II the Wrath of Khan, Star Trek The Voyage Home, Star Trek The Undiscovered Country, Star Trek First Contact, and the Star Trek reboot are all great. The rest, however, not counting beyond, by the way either left me with mixed feelings, or in some cases just terrible. But is Star Trek Beyond good? Yes. Yes it is. In fact, I would even put it in my top five favorite Star Trek movies. So I also want to say rest in peace to Anton Yelchin. He was an amazing actor, and my deepest sympathies to his family and friends. So, yeah. Rest in peace, Anton Yelchin. Rest in peace. So, basically, a surprise attack, attack in outer space for a surprise attack in outer space forces the Enterprise to crash land on a mysterious world. The assault came from Kroll, played by Idris Elba, a lizard-like dictator who derives his energy by sucking the light out of it, the life out of his vi victims. Kroll needs an ancient and valuable artifact that's aboard the badly damaged starship, left stranded in a r rugged wilderness. Kirk, played by Chris Pine once again, and Spock, played by Zachary Quinto once again, and the rest of the crew must now battle a deadly alien race while trying to find a way off their hostile planet. So, I really like how the characters have expanded from what they, they were before. For example, James Kirk, instead of being the kind of guy that's just like, oh yeah, I'm the best of the best, like he was in the last two, he's now... Now, is now more the the guy that thinks about what he's doing, what he's really meant to be doing in life, which and which I really like. And as usual, Chris Pine gives a really good performance throughout the entire film. I also really enjoyed the interaction between Spock and McCoy. The chemistry between Zachary Quinto and Carl Urban is on point throughout the film, and at times very funny. Uh, and in fact, this is probably the funniest Star Trek movie I've watched. Not every joke in the movie landed perfectly but the ones that did were hilarious. And there wasn't a single moment where the performances felt flat. Whenever they, whenever Spock and McCoy were on screen, and it, it was cool to see Spock interact with someone else for 30 minutes other than J Jim or her. Also, Sophia, Sophia Butella, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, as Jayla is phenomenal. She didn't give a bad performance or turn out to be really annoying. She was an amazing character and a great addition to the series. Long list of characters. And when I say long list of characters, I really mean a long list of characters. It was also really cool to see the crew use their brains to get out of certain situations, situations which adds, to, adds a great deal of realism to the movie, in my opinion. The movie has one of the more original stories, and I really like the idea of the Enterprise crew being stranded on a planet and having to figure out how to get off the planet the planet before, well, they're hunted and killed by lizard-like aliens. And, like all always, the film delves really deep into the science of all of it. And that's one of the best parts of pretty much all, all the Star Trek movies. They really go into the detail about the sci science of pretty much everything. And I loved it. I also really like, <clears throat> really like Idris Elba as Kroll. Admittedly, I didn't fa... F I did find it hard to get behind him at first, but once the third act kicked him, his motivations were clear, and I was able to understand why he was doing what he was doing for whatever reason, which I will, whatever reason I'll, that will not be spoiled here. I will also point out that this movie introduced at least 50 different alien species, if I'm counting that right in this movie, which is pretty awesome if you ask me, and incredible that someone can come up with 50 different species and make them original. Not to mention, 
all the aliens in this movie, CGI or not, look amazing. I will also say that this movie is a visual spectacle. Every scene is set in space or when it involves spaceships or space battles even looks phenomenal. If it's one thing the Star Trek movies get right pretty much almost every time, it's the visual effects. And boy did they nail it this time. So yeah, the space battles are amazing at as usual, and there are some pretty cool action sequences set on the ground involving a motorcycle. However, the hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes are probably the least enjoyable part of this movie. They are sh because they are shot really close up, so close up that it's almost impossible to tell what, what the actual like, is going on, and mainly because they use they use shaky cam, and I really don't like shaky cam. But thankfully, there isn't a lot a lot of it, so I was able to look past it because every, everything else was just done so well, I just couldn't, I could hardly care. Although, aside from the hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes, I really enjoyed this movie. It definitely lived up to my expectations. It's very funny, very funny, entertaining, by far one of the best movies I've seen all year. And weirdly, this is the second odd-numbered Star Trek movie that I actually love. Maybe the cycle has been broken and they're all going to be good from now on. Hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, great movie. Definitely recommend you watch it. And, yeah. So, please don't forget to like like this video if you like it. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. Or whatever. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, those are my thoughts on Star Trek Beyond. What did you think of it? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And I will, indeed, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.